Hello and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial for Flowmotion. Today we are going to take a look on how to bring this animation to the next level. In part one of this tutorial we animated all of this with a free plugin called Squash and Stretch. And you can just look at the description below, there's a link to it. And if you want to make this more advanced you can take the Squash and Stretch Pro tool, which comes with a ton of sound effects and a hell lot of different behaviors for the animation. So, what can we do to this animation? Of course, we can integrate it better into our background and work a little bit on the look of our letters. Now I want to add in a shadow and also a reflection. And maybe we just start with the reflection because this is the easier part. Let's just duplicate this. Call it reflection. And now all we need to do is to stretch it in a negative value. Bring it down until it lines up. And we already see some issues here because our O doesn't line up with the R, but we can quickly adjust that. I hit Control R to get some rulers. And here we see our O goes below the ground. So I would create a null object by doing Control, Alt, Shift and Y. Or simply go to Layer, New, Null Object. And connect the O to it with this Pick Whip. And now we can move our Null Object. And the O will follow and we don't mess up with the whole animation. Okay, back in here. We can already see what we want to do here. Let's blur this with a Gaussian blur. So let's just blur this like maybe 12 pixels. Then we create a mask. And feather this out. And just go down with the transparency. As this reflection layer is made out of this animation layer, everything will react to each other. Okay, now we do kind of the same thing to create a shadow. Copy the animation, maybe we get rid of the reflection for now, call this contact shadow and this time we just wanna take the bottom part of it, just like so. We want to tint this black. And add a directional blur to it. Go to 90 degrees, blur it out. And then be before that we can add another Gaussian blur. And let's just bring the shadow down. And go down with the transparency to like And and I don't quite like what the O is doing here at the end. So you can always go back, hit U on the layer and see all the keyframes. And I may just want to get rid of all of those here. See what happens. Okay, really nice. And the nice thing about the setup is that you could now go into each of the layers if you want to tweak something, change the color and just go into this sub composition. And whatever you want to do to the layer, maybe you have... So maybe you have some textures that you want to use for the layers. Let's just bring out this rusty one. You can just bring it into the layer and use the layer itself as an alpha mat and it will update. So whatever you do to the letters, they will also change. Also the reflection will change. Just have to be aware to get rid of the tint. So maybe we just go into the other letters, also give them kind of a texture. And what you can do now to give it more 
depth, just add a bell effect to the whole animation. And set the angle like it. And what's always nice to give it like a light color with it. Just ever so slightly. Really perfect. Maybe for the total look of it, I would apply another adjustment layer and bring out the levels. to make this pop out more and maybe another tint effect to the intro with that purple just bring that down so that it sits a little better in our composition and last that's a subtle thing I would do bring out a black solid and just try to mimic the look and feel of the floor just like so, feather it and bring down the transparency to something like 12. Now I'm going to show you one last trick that you can do to create a nice filmic look. Let's call this final. And I want to create some light streaks to interact with the rest of it. So I'm going to extract all of this except for the really bright parts. So I'm taking out the black. And I'm taking out even more to only have those very bright parts. I can feather this a bit and now I'm left with only the very bright parts could add a levels effect to it for the alpha so I did that just to have a solid white color here and now I'm adding a directional blur horizontally and set that to screen so it will pop out more And now let's have a look on what we have created today. So I really hope you learned some tips and tricks today in After Effects, how to set up keyframes, how to use plugins to optimize your workflows, the nice light streaks to just give it a filmic final touch, the reflections, the drop shadow to make it sit in our scene here. So if you liked what you see, just feel free to subscribe to my channel because the more subscriptions I got, the more tutorials I'm able to do and I really love to do those tutorials. So now I wish you a lot of fun in After Effects.